Wow, I am in love with this city. Probably the only city in India with pleasant weather all year round, lots of greenery, beautiful palaces, gorgeous lakes and of course, how can I forget, delicious South Indian food. I am at the largest city of Karnataka. Welcome to Bengaluru. From being the garden city to the Silicon Valley of India, I am here at the nerve centre of India's high-tech city Bangalore for work and to explore its abundant green parks, quirky cafes and renowned eateries. This is a city where thousands of business travellers come for work but we at Curly Tales love to mix our work with fun. So I am checking into a hotel that is a perfect place for pleasure, that is business with leisure. Hilton Bangalore Embassy Manita Business Park is one of the biggest hotels here with Hilton Garden Inn and Hilton Convention Centre coming together. Located just 40 minutes away from the airport, the hotel is a walking distance away from all corporate offices located in the Embassy Manita Business Park and a short drive away from a lot of tourist attractions. They offer 353 contemporary and well-appointed rooms and suites, five gorgeous dining options, a huge swimming pool, a well-equipped fitness centre, a vertical garden, convention halls and banquets to host events and exhibitions. And as usual, can't wait to check out my den for the next few days. The rooms and suites are thoughtfully designed to be bright and comfortable, well-equipped with all the modern amenities. There are many categories to choose from at both the hotels in the complex, from superior rooms to deluxe suites. So this is a one-bedroom suite. It's expansive, contemporary and very, very spacious. In fact, all the rooms here come with flexible workstations that would suit a modern traveller like me. But what I like the most about this property is the idea of sustainable travel that they promote everywhere. There's a solar plant installation and the entire hotel follows a zero single-use plastic policy. What's a staycation without indulging in a hearty meal? This hotel offers five amazing dining options to choose from. F5 is a bright, stylish, refreshing all-day diner that offers delectable global favourites along with locally popular dishes with a modern setup. Be it a fluffy MTR dosa or a delectable healthy pizza. It's a perfect place for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Neo Kitchen offers a theatrical environment with cuisines from Indonesia, Vietnam, Singapore and India. Well, so the live kitchen here will keep you engaged for long and if you are too tempted, you can try your hand at grilling your own food in a Josper. Are we ready to do that, Chef? Yes. Let's do it. You can double up all that fun quite literally in their in-house lounge bar, Double Up. They offer a selection of cocktails, wines and malls from around the world. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. There's a big drink for a beautiful girl. Thank you so yes. much. Well, so this lounge bar is run completely by women, from those behind the bar to the ones serving or even playing music. It's the women who rule at Double Up. Cheers. There's also Tectonic, which is a transitional lounge space offering classic cocktails, signature bar bites, and also a patisserie where you can shop. And finally at Neer, a coastal cuisine restaurant that is influenced by the flavours of South India, be it Karnataka, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh or Tamil Nadu. The restaurant is only functional for dinners, so you will surely enjoy the alfresco vibes here. Well, if that was too much eating for you, you can easily burn off those calories by walking around this huge property, hitting the gym or going for a swim. I know I need to do all of that, but before that, I want to go out and explore Bangalore a little.
Bangalore is loved for its pleasant weather, beautiful parks and gorgeous lakes. It is renowned for its eateries, street food corners, quirky cafes and pubs dotting every corner of the city, serving cuisines from all around the world. You can choose to take a long stroll through the beautiful Kabban Park or the Heneru Kere Biodiversity Park which is only 10 minutes away. Wow, it's so green and beautiful. Now I know why they say Bangalore is the garden city of India. Well, the Vidhan Sauda of Bangalore looks straight out of a postcard. Palaces like Tipu Sultan's Summer Palace, Bangalore Palace and Bangalore Fort stand as testimony to the cultural heartbeat of the city and are just about 20 to 30 minutes away from the hotel. Wow, look how beautiful this palace looks. So this is the Bangalore Palace which was designed to resemble the Windsor Castle. It's surrounded by palace gardens and today it's actually a popular venue for wedding events or even live concerts. Well, that was a long day of exploration, but I think a sign of a good staycation is being able to snuggle up in your jammies, call for some room service and binge watch your favourite series. So that's my plan for the night. Now while I enjoy my night in, you go book your staycation in the capital of Karnataka. I enjoyed my stay here and I am sure you will too. Until next time, see you soon.